even want to highlight them, you know, have them come up here and pray a special blessing over Sharice um, and just thank them for opening up their home for life groups to take in people to minister to, to educate them the word of God and just to pray over them and, you know, just thank them for continuing to be the positive light of God for this church and to many others here at this church. So, Myra and Marjorie, will you please come up? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, as they make their way up here, so, yeah, so, as I was saying, Roger and Myra, uh, they've been such a, you know, blessing to my life. Roger, he, every time, this is what happens in life group. We are a life group and we can't stop laughing at each other. She, from my wrist, separates us. Just so we can focus, right? But, um, I saw anybody, see, he just made me forget what I was going to say. But anyways, um, I got, I got you guys, um, this diamond angel pin. And, um, what this, um, signifies is, you know, that the diamond is a rare, it's a rare gem, you know, and, the two of you have been my diamonds and my angel, and I believe that God has put you in my life, you know, for many, many reasons, that our, our relationship is just, it's beyond words, and you, you, Myra, you're like my spiritual mom, and you do so much for me, and um, I just really want to just give you guys this, um, this pin. <laughs> Because she thought that Pat the pastors might use her money to go gamble. You know? She she didn't want to pray because she didn't she didn't know how to pray. But I am so proud of her. Look at her now. Talk about being a church attender, stepping up to be a contender. You know, she, she, she is involved in various ministries. She does announcements. She tithes church. Not only 5%, not 8%, but 10%. Because she felt, she tested God, and she saw, she experienced a blessing out of that. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to ask my, my wife, Mara, to pray for Therese. Heavenly 
Father, we just thank you for this evening, Father God, for this opportunity to hear Sharice's testimony, Father God. A testimony unto you, Lord God, that every word that was spoken did not fall on um, hollow grounds, that every word that was spoken was a testimony unto someone here in the church, Lord God. I lift up Sharice to you, Father, that I pray that you will continue to be um, there for her, to build her, to be that woman of God that you have created her to be, Father. I thank you, Father God, that you are forging her life ahead in you, Father God. And there are still many more blessings to come upon her, Father God. I thank you, Father, for her heart, Lord God, her pure heart unto you, Lord God. You know her from when she was born, Father God. And so, Father, I just continue to ask you to um, bless our mouths, Roger and myself, Father God. Give us the discernment and the will, Father God, to build up Sharice, Father God, in her life, Father God, that she, Father God, may be a testimony, a continual testimony unto you, Father, from faith to faith and glory to glory. May yeah. she just bless your mighty name. We thank you, Father, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, I have one more testimony to share, and that is one of a Christ believer. That is one of a Christian. Um, my best friend had sent me this poem over 10 years ago, and I wasn't all in at that point. I wasn't even saved at that point. And I came across it recently, and reading back at it, I was just in tears. I wept so much that it means so much more to me now than it did back then. So I'd like to share that poem with you guys, if you don't mind. It was written by the late and great Maya Angelou, and it's entitled, I Am a Christian. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not shouting, I'm clean living. I'm whispering, I was lost. Now I'm found and forgiven. When I say I am a Christian, I don't speak of this with pride. I'm confessing that I stumble and I need Christ to be my guide. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not trying to be strong. I'm professing that I'm weak and I need his strength to carry on. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not bragging of success. I'm admitting I have failed and need God to clean my mess. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not claiming to be perfect. My flaws are far too visible, but God believes I am worth it. When I say I am a Christian, I still feel this thing of pain. I have my share of heartaches, so I call upon his name. When I say I am a Christian, I'm not holier than thou. I'm just a simple sinner who received God's good grace somehow. Amen. There is power in humility. There is power in being humble. That's why leaders lead on their knees. And that's why they have such anointed closets, war rooms, because they know that they can't do it alone. They need Jesus. He is the power, He is the truth, He is the way, and He is our life yes. as Christ believers. Yeah. Amen. I'd like to take this time to just pray over you guys. You know, I just felt this prayer needs to be one of hope. It needs to be one of strength. And as a leader here at this church, Lord, we know we need strength. We need courage. As much as we persevere with the tasks and, and doing the will of God and just trying our best day to day to please Him and serve His people, we need His strength. So I'd actually like to call forth the leaders of this church. If you're a soldier in Christ, if you're a leader at work, if you're a servant of the Lord here at church, I'd like to invite the altar open to you and pray for you because I feel that 
as leaders in this world, as believers, we need to strengthen our armor, right? We need to strengthen the armor of God. So if leaders, you'd like to please come forward. If you all would stand. Because really, you guys all share the light of Christ. And that 